Welcome to the ABB Innovation Show. My name is Nico Ninov and I'm an expert in the field of data center solutions. With me in the studio is Francesca Sassi, expert in the field of data center applications, and we are very pleased to present you the following innovations. Hello everyone, and thank you, Nico. I'm also very pleased to be able to share some exciting moment with my colleagues today and talk about some interesting new products. If we look back over the last few years, what would you say has changed enormously for us, especially in technological terms? The world has definitely become more digital. Digital and sustainable. Those who have long since transferred their work processes to the digital currency and are focusing on sustainable infrastructure will make the race in the future. Sustainable infrastructure is the right buzzword. The use of renewables in data center segment has grown rapidly. I recently read that Microsoft has fished one of its oldest data center out of the water, installed new servers and sunk it again. So they save on cooling. But if I now think a step further and imagine that we are all becoming increasingly dependent on data, computing power and connectivity. And we all rely somewhere on a data center that has to work efficiently and safely. Then we are exactly where we want to be today, showing our customers that we at ABB are able to fulfill any data requirement of today and tomorrow. Including the guarantee of being able to provide the safety and security of the data in our customers' data center. We do not only guarantee the safety of the data, but also of the power supply. Intelligent data needs intelligent energy. Our data center solutions have a flexible infrastructure that can grow or decline with the demand. Our solutions have smart grid connections to give you more choice in how you use your energy efficiently. Whatever the challenges you face, whether it's about space saving, modularity or flexibility, energy efficiency, continuous operation or security, we have the solution you need to overcome them. Now it's time to talk about the ABB Innovation Show, our sub-distribution offering for the data center. And what we can do for you to make your data center even more reliable and profitable. And of course, also in this show, we have an expert in the breakout room who will answer your questions during and after the show. Let's take a closer look at the typical mid-site data center. To give you a brief overview of what a data center consists of, you can see the individual components here in the infographic. The three most important ones are UPS and batteries, main distribution, sub-distribution. But who are the people involved in planning and designing such a data center? It is uh, two main groups, really. On the one hand, we have consultants, electrical planners and system integrators. For these people, we have a great configurators that really helps in their work. On the other hand, we have co-location providers and panel builders. And can you tell us something about their buying habits? The time-saving configurator tools are very important for the consultants and the planners and are the flexible and scalable solution. And the collocators providers and planners are very interested in minimum space requirements, smart and fast commissioning, and pay as you grow. Pay as you grow means that you can lower the first investment and that the system can be expanded over time. You have this prospect of expansion, so to speak. This is particularly important for collocation provider. Today, we want to focus on the sub-distribution area of the data center with the servers inside. We call that the white space area. The distribution portion in the white space area is divided in multiple levels. At last level, before we go into the server racks actually, we have the remote power panels. This solution perfectly covers the needs of co-location providers for their pay-as-you-grow concept and panel builders, which can reduce the assembly effort significantly. And don't forget the bus bar distribution system. This covers the needs of all data center operators, where space is limited and the access to the distribution must be restricted. 
I like their slim design and the fact that it saves space on the floor because they sit above the servers. Yes, of course, this is the perfect solution for this application. Whereas remote power panels have the complete distribution at one place, so I don't need actually to climb up the ladder. Before we go into more detail, here we have summarized the most important advantages of the RPP for you. Centralized low voltage distribution, individual cable connections to the server racks, star wiring to each server rack. And here the same for the bus bar distribution system. Decentralized low voltage sub-distribution, electrical distribution via bus bar above the server racks, top of units connected sequentially on the bus bar. Now, let's talk about the RPPs in detail. RPPs are a special kind of power distribution unit with the purpose to distribute power to the servers. The RPPs supply REC PDUs that are used inside the cabinets. Let's have a look at the main components of the RPP. At the top, we have the molded case circuit breaker TMAX XT4. Then, as a branch monitoring system, we have our CMS700. And the sub-distribution is realized with Smithline TouchProof, with the ability to really mount the devices under load. We call that hot pluggable. In the front door, we can mount a network analyzer to give an overview of the total consumption. As you can see, all necessary devices in one complete solution. First components I'd like to highlight is the network analyzer M4M. M4M is the intelligent central measuring unit that provides accurate real-time monitoring of the power KPIs to enhance reactivity to the events on the electrical system. Relevant for data center application is the possibility to set alarms that can be linked to trigger early warnings with user-defined logics on a complete set of power quality KPIs. I remember when I joined the ABB data center team a couple of years ago and I visited an exhibition about cyber attacks, watching a presenter hacking life into a Modbus system, which was responsible for traffic light control. Within 10 minutes, he was able to turn all the traffic lights into red. It is not difficult to imagine what would happen if you would turn all the traffic lights into green, actually. After his presentation, I asked him, what should we use instead of Modbus to help our clients avoid to get hacked easily? He said, SNMP. That's the only standard in the data center with end-to-end -end encryption that he would use. That's brilliant. Yes, and this is the reason why our branch monitoring system speaks SNMP from the day one. A few weeks later, we even won a large-scale project just because of this unique selling point. We had another client in Ireland, that company name was R&D Engineering. They told us that they were building RPPs for a customer of theirs. But at the beginning, um, they wanted to just occupy the RPP only with empty um, small circuit breakers and leave the other 124 slots completely empty. But why? That is completely oversized. Yeah, exactly. That would be like laying out a main power distribution board and then just connecting a small torch. Then they explained us, no, uh, the customer wants to invest relatively little at the beginning, but expand the data center over time. So as soon as he knows what kind of clients he will have, renting space from him, he will plug in the correct single phase or three phase circuit breakers with 16 or 32 amps or even more. I understand. So means a shifting from investment to running cost. And that is exactly how we at ABB understand pay as you grow. So now we have already experienced some interesting insights into the practical implementation with our customers. How do you select the right configurators that fits my project exactly? Hmm. There are currently 40,000 pre-tested possible solutions with the configurator. And the best, we are not taking away your business, dear panel builders. This is a complete build-yourself certified package. There is also a configuration tool where the RPP can be configured according to your requirements. 
The access is very easy via Google Chrome or with your iPad. It is available in eight languages, German, English, French, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, Portuguese and Russian. So that's it for the RPP. We already took some advantages with us in the beginning. Now, once again, a quick summary. Meet 80% of the market needs with pre-configured remote power panels, unique power density, half footprint compared to other vendors, and compact design without the need of additional space on the bus bar. It's pre-type tested according to IC61439, and it's easy to install and retrofit, maintenance without interrupting any communication, end-to-end -end encryption with SNMP communication, fast ordering process, and many more. Let us now turn to the other solution, the bus bar distribution system. What are again the main differences to the RPP? It's a decentralized low voltage sub-distributions. And the technical distribution is composed by bus bars above the server racks or under the rice floor and the top of units are connected sequentially on a bus bar. There are two components, right? The components are the feeder unit and the top of unit. What are the two units exactly used for? The feeder unit is what the top of unit supplies. All sensor data from all top of units are collected in the feeder unit. And what are the functions of the feeder unit? At the front of the feeder unit is the control unit. The control unit collects all the data. It measures the main power consumption at the input of the bus bar, which the large current transformer. It must, of course, be protected with its own protection devices. The online and historical values are displayed on the web user interface. Here you can see the type of units in the full size. Francesca, um, ABB offers sensors for the type of units, right? What's special about them? Well, the sensors are so small that they can sit above the MCB and do not take up extra space in the unit. That's a real USP, making room for more MCBs in the type of unit, the only one in the market. Here we can see the individual products of the type of unit are miniature circuit breakers, S200 or S800 range, single and multipoles, CMS current sensor, industrial plugs and sockets. Let us have a look at the advantages of the bus bar distribution system. It's easy to extend when expanding the bus bar trunking system, low space requirements inside the tap of units, maintenance without interrupting the bus bar, retrofit into existing installations without any additional space requirements, and it reduces downtime by early detection of potential issues. Well, it seems that both solutions have good advantages. So why don't we let the audience make their choice? For our audience in the chat, you have now heard and seen a lot about the two solutions, RPP and BASPAR. Which product would you choose now? Please write in the chat box, RPP or BASBAR. Now, let's talk about other products and solutions in the data center that complete the server room applications. We start with our high performance breaker. It can switch off extremely high short circuit currents up to 50,000 amps. With this product, we are best in class. And here you can see a very good overview of our products and solution. For example, the complete and wide OVR range designed to protect electrical system and equipment against transitory surges. If you don't plan to build a mid-sized data center, we can help you with our data center in a single enclosure. As a matter of fact, ABB, Rital and HPE developed a solution for clients who want to keep their data locally, for example, inside a factory, or if real-time production control software must stay within the local area network. We call that the Secure Edge Data Center. From ABB, we have UPS, Smithline TouchProof, as well as high-performance breakers inside. It is designed for operating IT in harsh industrial environments, for example, in production plants. 
It's flexible and scalable as per business requirements. It provides space reduction, innovative design and lights out operation. The data at the edge remains safe at the edge. These are really many benefits. We can fully recommend the system and the savings potential is really convincing. For sure you will have now one or more question or you will want to read the details again. All information can be found of course and as always on our website. Thank you for listening and now we are very happy to answer all of your questions in the chat. We will also have some webinars so please stay tuned and goodbye, stay healthy. Stay healthy, goodbye.